Hello again and uh, welcome to another video from myself, Mr. Arnold, and in this video we're going to be simplifying expressions, or as it's sometimes known, collecting like terms. So uh, let's just jump right in with a few examples here, and uh, hopefully, by the end of it all, you'll uh, understand what it is we need to do to simplify an expression. So um, here's the first problem, we've got 6c plus 10u take away 3c plus 4u. Uh, and basically what I have to do is simplify this whole expression down because I can actually write this a slightly easier way than what it looks like at the moment. Um, so what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to highlight what are like terms. Um, anything with a C in it, I can combine. So the minus 3C is a like term with the 6C. Okay? And our 10u is like our 4u. Now just something really really important here to, to note is that I included the sign. So when I was talking about 10u I included the plus sign because that plus sign is affecting everything here. And similarly when I was doing the 3c here I included that minus 3 the minus in front of it because that minus is affecting everything here and then what we do is we just add or subtract what is necessary so when I simplify this down 6c take away 3c gives me 3c and 10u plus 4u gives me a total of 14u and that's it, I cannot simplify that down any further. That's as far as we can go. So that is simplified, or all the like terms have been collected. Let's have a look at the next one. Again, I'm gonna take a highlighter here just to highlight what are the like terms. So my x terms, I'm gonna combine with my x terms. And my or terms, again, remember, including the sign in front, I'm gonna combine with the other OR terms. So, this time we go on a bit of red. 8x plus the 3x gives me a total of 11x. And minus 5OR minus another 6OR gives me a total of minus 11OR. So basically it's minus 5 minus another 6 gives me minus 11 in total. Do not make the mistake of thinking a minus and a minus gives me a plus, okay? That's only when we're multiplying or dividing. It doesn't happen here. It's basically like minus 5 take away 6, which hopefully we know is minus 11. So it's the same idea as this. Now we'll just get rid of that. And finally, uh, let's have a look at the last problem here. Again, I'm going to take the highlighter just to highlight what's like terms. The minus 5d and we got minus 2d, they're like, and we'll switch to the green for the other one, we got the minus 2n, and the plus 2n, well they're like, so I'm going to combine them, this time, let's go with black, minus 5d, minus another 2d, gives me a total of minus 7d, and then minus 2n, plus 2 in, well hopefully you realise that minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So that's it, that's everything uh, simplified there. Uh, hopefully you understand that, uh, any questions just leave a comment. Cheers.